This is a book ball summary of the book Radically Happy by Pak Chok Rinpoche and Eric Solomon. Almost everyone in the world desires happiness, but many of us are pretty bad at figuring out what would really make us happy. We look for happiness in things, like houses or cars, or having that beautiful job. But do these things actually make us happy? How can we know what really makes us happy? In this book, the writers discussed on what they refer to as radical happiness and offer advice on how to achieve it. Real happiness is a feeling of long-lasting contentment that endures through difficult times. So how does one go about getting some for themselves? According to the book, you should know that. Number one, genuine happiness has nothing to do with possessions or circumstances. For instance, you would be happier to find out that you had won the lottery rather than being paralysed, right? But actually, this is not the case in the long run. In a 1978 study of paraplegic people and lottery winners, it was discovered after a year of learning they had won the jackpot or were paraplegic, their happiness levels returned to normal. This shows that a person's circumstances or assets does not determine their happiness. Every time you seem to have obtained that comfort and pleasure you desire, it doesn't take long before you start thinking about where to find a new set of desires or just how to keep your happiness from fading. So, conditions cannot provide long-lasting happiness, so where does it actually come from? Number 2. The first step towards radical happiness is breaking the cycle of thinking about thoughts. One of the authors, Pak Chok Rinpoche, was selected as the latest manifestation of a famous and well-respected meditation teacher. According to him, he did not accept these duties as you might think he might have. He simply got more angry and debated with his classmates while also fantasising about beating them. When he decided to talk to his instructor about his feelings, the teacher's response was that he should stop behaving like a dog, but rather behave like a lion. In the story, we learn that the instructor wanted Rinpoche to learn to deal with what psychologists refer to as mind wandering, which is an act of chasing one's thought. Studies have shown that we are happiest when fully absorbed in the present moment. According to the authors, basic happiness is a state of present moment awareness. He recommends trying an exercise called creating space for five minutes each day for the next week to get things going. You can start by sitting down comfortably and then closing your eyes. Next, imagine you are surrounded by an endless blue sky. Try to have this image as clear as possible, and if you see that you have become distracted, then you can just gently return your attention to the endless space. These exercises require that you shift your attention from your never-ending waves of thought and help you to not only attain, but also familiarise yourself with the state of non-distraction. It represents the starting point for developing present moment awareness. Number 3. You can placate your mind by practising meditation with an object. Much like an annoying party guests, our minds constantly interfere with our ability to appreciate the present moment. So what do we do? We have to give our minds something to do or concentrate on. You can practice giving your mind a task. It can be focusing on your breath for instance like I am going to use in this scenario. First, you can sit on a comfortable chair. Then do the creating space exercise for a few minutes to relax and calm your mind. You can then open your eyes and when you do, try not to focus on anything you see. Instead, Keep your eyes open and relaxed while gently focusing on your breathing. When you notice that you've become distracted, then you can just bring your focus back to the breath, and that's all. But let's say you don't want to focus on your breath. Then you can also focus on an object like a candle or a flower. This way you can learn to keep your mind in the present, regardless of any other thoughts that may come to your mind. Number 4. To achieve basic happiness, Practice cultivating gratitude instead of comparing yourself to other people. Most times, we find ourselves making comparisons between our experiences and those of others, but this only takes our attention away from the present. Instead of comparing yourself to other people, you can work on building gratitude to obtain basic happiness. A very effective way to do this is to make gratitude a daily habit. You can start by including the following meditation exercises in your morning routine. After a few minutes of creating space while sitting comfortably and focusing on your breath, you can then think about this phrase, I'm satisfied with who I am, each time you inhale, and think, I'm content with what I have, as you exhale. After performing this cycle at least 21 times, then you can resume your regular meditation routine. Another strategy is to begin a gratitude journal. 
Think of one thing you are grateful for in your life each night before you go to bed, and you can consider your overnight note of gratitude during your morning meditation. Number five, throughout the day, take mindful mini breaks to refocus on the present moment. Meditation, among other methods, is a fantastic way to familiarize yourself with the present. If you can only meditate when you're feeling nervous or stressed, you're still relying on external factors to make you happy. You should take mindful mini breaks all throughout the day to refocus on the present moment. You need to find a point during the day when you can pause for a moment, even for a single minute, and stop thinking about your thoughts. You should take this opportunity to sit quietly and create a space. But it may be difficult to remember to take these mini breaks, so one way to assure you don't forget is to use triggers. Anything, such as the sound of the bus or metro during your morning commute, could act as your trigger. Number six, interconnected happiness means living in harmony with those around us. According to a Harvard study, men were more likely to consider their lives successful if they had a variety of interactions throughout their lives. So we can become happier if we build our relationships with others. Living in harmony with others is the definition of interconnected happiness. We might love to think of ourselves as really independent individuals, but in reality, a complex network of interdependencies shape how we act. So it is best we free ourselves from any sense of separation. Then you can enjoy the effect of interconnected happiness. Number seven, cultivate warm relationships by appreciating interconnectedness and wishing kindness on everyone. It is much easier to feel warmth towards others when we are developing a strong sense of interconnectedness. When we realize that our lives have been shaped and are still being shaped by caring of others, then we understand the reason for interdependency. By reflecting on these acts of kindness during your morning meditation, you can promote warmth. You can make a list of everyone who has ever shown you even the most basic act of compassion or caring. Consider what they gave you and cultivate gratitude as a way to honor the memory. After doing this for a week, you can then move on to resting in the light of kindness. This exercise would further increase your feeling of warmth. As always, begin your daily meditation by creating space. Then imagine a massive web or chain. You should imagine the people who might have been kind to you or shown you care as part of this network. Imagine the warmth of loving joy enveloping each and every one of these folks. Acknowledge that you would not be where you are without the kindness and concern of these people. And after that, you can rest for a few minutes by meditating with an object. Number eight, extend your feelings of warmth to everyone, even your enemies. One thing we might not notice is our tendency to judge people quickly, even though we just met them and even barely know them. This usually stops us from building many friendly relationships with others. But maybe if we let go of our judgment of others, then we begin to see things more clearly. You can use meditation as a strong instrument to extend to everyone, including people you consider your enemies. It may be difficult and may even require practice, but once you can share a laugh with even those who have harmed you, then you will feel a deep, interconnected happiness. Number nine, radical happiness comes with greater understanding and awareness of your own mind. To experience radical happiness, we have to break away from our regular thought and emotion patterns. Thoughts and emotions are not the enemy, but rather our tendency to cling to them. We can relax this cling and simply allow our thoughts to flow through our mind. This exercise will help increase our concentration even more. So after you begin your meditation by creating space and concentrating on your breathing, you enter the state of calm observation of your thoughts. Keep an awareness of your ideas, but try not to dwell on them. Simply examine each thought as it comes to you. If you don't start thinking about it, you'll discover that it will dissolve on its own. Finish the session by concentrating on your breathing. You'll discover as you practice this exercise that being aware of your thoughts as they come and go creates a tiny mental space. Radical happiness can only be found in that area, which is one of consciousness, presence, and knowing. You'll be able to know when you're distracted during the day and disengage from your thoughts and feelings as you get used to how your awareness feels. You'll then possess the peaceful dignity that comes with being aware of your own thoughts. So by the end of this, we have learnt how we can achieve our own radical happiness from the book, where the author emphasised on meditation and the need to build that connection with others. So what other things do you think we need to achieve happiness? What's your most important key takeaway?
please comment down below and share the video if you like it. Thank you and until next time.